Hi, Johnny. My name is Megan, and I spoke with Beth in your office earlier today about putting together a website audit video for you guys to give you some website tips and show you where you're currently ranking on Google and how to rank your site, what your competitors are doing to claim the top spots on Google. Um, so basically just how to get ahead of your competition online. Um, so I let Beth know that I'd be sending all my contact info. If you have any questions after watching the video, uh, you're welcome to email me or give me a call. I'd be happy to answer any questions and always happy to hear your feedback. So the three things I'm going to talk to you about today are content, backlinks, and citations. So content is anything on the home page of your site that Google can read. So all the text on the home page, all the text within your images, and whatever your images are saved as. So you guys have quite a bit of content here. Um, to be considered authority in Google's eyes, you're going to want to have at least 1,500 to 2,000 words on your home page. And you're going to want it to be stuffed with content that has to do with buyer intent. So for you specifically, uh, you'd be looking at things like Electrician Spring, Texas, um, Houston Electrician, uh, Houston Commercial Lighting, other keyword phrases along those lines. That way, when anyone types those searches into Google, your website will pop right up. So um, looking at your site, I really like the way it's laid out. Um, a very nice layout and everything's really well organized. It's easy to maneuver and uh, very user friendly. I like that you guys have client testimonials here. It looks like it might be under construction because uh, you have some filler text here. But when you do end up getting your reviews up um, and on your site, those are always really great. A huge plus for um, prospective clients to build trust with them. Um, and then always good to have this lead form here for any, uh, any website visitors that want to give their contact info. So as far as content goes, it looks like I put your um, content in my word counter. It looks like you guys have about 632 words. So you'll really want to uh, increase the content in order to get to that 1500 word mark. And a standard rule of thumb that we tell our clients to use is one keyword phrase for every 100 to 150 words. So if you were to get up to that 1500 word mark, you'd be looking at about 10 to 12 keywords, uh, or you know you can push it to 13. So, um, but somewhere in between that range for keywords that you'd want to have spread organically throughout the paragraphs here on your homepage. Um, and you just want to make sure that, like I said, they're location specific. That way, when anyone types that stuff in to Google, your website will pop up. So, um, looking at your services page, what I would recommend here is to do a non-clickable menu drop down right here where you have these services split into individual pages. And the reason for that is that if you have each individual service um, listed, it can rank a lot easy, a lot more easily in Google as a as a back page, and so let's say that somebody is looking for, um, you know, uh, parking lot lighting in Houston. If you guys had a back page specifically for that, and they typed that into Google, then your back page would pop up, and they would end up getting to your website from that. So that would be a good thing to do in order to rank higher for those services. Uh, and more easily. And then if you were to split the services into individual pages, the number you want to strive for as far as content goes here is about 500 words for each individual service page. So um, anywhere from three to four keyword phrases spread organically throughout the paragraphs would be uh, the number you'd want to strive for there. Um, really love that you guys have a blog here. So uh, that's always really great to have on your site. And then an About Us section, again, we always recommend that as well. So um, really like that you guys have all of this info on here about, about you, and it just helps to, you know, build that trust. So those are my tips for your website. The next thing I want to talk to you about today is backlinks. So the thing with Google is it can kind of be like a popularity contest in a way because they judge you by how many websites are pointing back at you. Now, very important to remember, not all backlinks are created equal. So what that means is you're going to gain a lot more influence from a backlink that is related to your industry. 
So for, for example, an electrician blog that mentions your company would be a good one for you. Or a popular website that features various types of home services and features electrical services, that would be another good one for you. So something that has to do with the services you offer, you're gonna have much more influence given to you from that type of backlink versus a backlink from, let's say, your local Domino's Pizza, for example. So a tool I use to measure backlinks is called Arifs, and it gives you a lot of really valuable data as far as the traffic coming into your site as well. So it looks like you guys have you know, over 2,000 backlinks, which is amazing, uh, 186 websites pointing back at you, and then you have 119 for your organic traffic. So you have uh, 119 website visits over the last 30 days. Um, so as you can see, your ranking has kind of dropped and now it's kind of evening out right here between um, in, within the last three months. Um, but when you compare it to your top competitor in Houston, Mr. Sparky, which I'm sure you've heard of, uh, they have over 3,000 backlinks and they have 684 for their organic traffic. So, um, you know, they have a lot of backlinks and a lot of them are higher quality backlinks. Uh, they have 684 website visits within the last 30 days. So uh, my guess would be that, you know, at least some of these have converted into new customers for them. So a strategy that we tell our clients to use in order to get the same kind of influence and power as their competitors is to go in and get the exact same backlinks as your competitor has and then keep adding on more and more. So what will end up happening is you'll end up surpassing your competitor while taking on all of those, all of that new business, the new website visits, more power to your site, and um, gaining new customers. So uh, the other thing I wanna talk to you about today is citations. So citations are very important because if someone's looking for a service now, uh, most likely what they're gonna do is they're gonna go to Google and type that service in. So you'll see that Right here is the local Google My Business map pack. And the top three businesses pop up here in the map pack. A lot of people see these as the best places to go with, where it's not necessarily that these are the best in the business, it's that they have the most citations and that's why they're ranking at the top. So citations are anywhere on the internet where your business name, phone number, and address are listed in different directories such as Yelp, Facebook, Yellow Pages, just to name a few. So again, what we tell our clients, same type of strategy that we use with backlinks. You wanna go in and list yourself in whatever directories your competition is being listed in here, and then add on about 20 to 30% more directories for a, as a space cushion for you. So what will end up happening is over time, you'll end up infiltrating this Google My Business map pack. You'll be ranking at the top, and before your competitors can even realize it, they won't be able to catch up because you'll just keep adding on more backlinks, more citations, and taking on all of that new business. So here is my website, and this is my company, Lobo Leads. This is my phone number, and I'd be happy, like I said before, to answer any questions for you, and I'd love to hear your feedback. I hope this was helpful for you. Thanks.